Hey everyone, in this video we will be creating our Xamarin Forms Android project for a wireless POS machine where we will be printing the received by a wireless POS machine. So it is really easy to create a Xamarin Forms Android project and integrate with such type of hardware POS machine. So let's get started with the video itself to learn how to print our received by a, this type of machines. Here you can see I have selected the IPOS printer and this IPOS printer uh, is connected with the Bluetooth to my Xamarin Forms Android app. So here I'll be selecting the printer itself and I can just change the value to as I like over here itself and uh, uh, click on print so that we can get the receipt out of uh, the Xamarin Forms Android app. This is the final receipt that I get out of my Xamarin Forms Android app connected with the POS machine. So let's get back to the video itself to learn how this application is created. There are numerous ways to connect our Xamarin Forms Android project with the wireless POS machine. So we have a plugin named as shiny.bluetooth alley which connects our Xamarin Forms Android project with the uh, hardware Bluetooth devices like POS machine. So here we won't be using such type of plugin. We'll just use basically a renderer and make our application as smaller as we can. Um, now uh, let's go to the uh, Visual Studio where we'll be creating a blank Xamarin Forms application where I have given a name as Xamarin Forms uh, Bluetooth printer. So you can just uh, give your name as you like. Then here what we are going to do is at first we are going to create one UI. So here I have created a stack layout where we have added three controls and this picker is going to get a list of uh, devices and then attach to uh, it inside and then uh, the editor uh, basically helps us to edit the received and then a print button that helps us for printing. So here in order to, uh, for the picker to get a list of device we have created one folder name as services where we have one interface name as iPrintService.cs so this is basically a class that acts as like an interface which connects our Xamarin Forms Android project and then gets a list of printing device from the uh, renderer services itself. So here uh, on the editor part, the editor is just uh, going to be acting as like just a receipt editor where uh, we'll get a uh, uh, static receipt over here as a text and you can modify as of your own which gets its value from here uh, from the dot cs itself and then uh, the print button helps us to print that receipt so now as soon as the application is loaded uh, here i have written my code from dot cs you can just use your mbvm approach to get the list of devices and do uh, mbvm bindings too in order to make this video shorter so i have just added uh, this line of code which is just a constructor which gets the list of device from the Xamarin Forms Android native that is a list of Bluetooth devices. So here iPrint service is just a uh, service of variable which gets its uh, dependency items from the native Android project. So what is written inside the services of uh, Android project is this class that is Bluetooth service renderer.cs. So here you can see uh, let me go to the services itself and then I'll let you know what is there uh, inside the uh, interface method. So here inside the interface we have added these two um, lines of code that is like uh, getting the list of devices from the native uh, Android renderer and then print uh, the receipt that was written in Xamarin Forms and then sent back to the renderer uh, so that our Xamarin Forms Android connects with the uh, POS machine. So here uh, this is basically a list so don't forget to mention this line of code for, as a namespace and then uh, which gets a list of Bluetooth connected devices and then uh, this button uh, that is our print button is going to hit this method and then send the receipt to the uh, selected device name with the text that uh, uh, our um, editor has written. So now let's go back to the services folder itself where I have created a single folder where, and then inside that folder I have added one class name as bluetooth service renderer.cs. So here you can see, uh, let me close this thing up and then here our Xamarin Forms Android renderer talks with the uh, class itself where which has a dependency on it and then here we are inheriting the interface method so that our Xamarin Forms Android uh, project 
connects with the uh, xamarin forms pro forms project and then uh, here on our xamarin form services dot uh, cs interface uh, whatever we have defined over here we should write all the instances of the uh, interfaces methods over here so that it uh, functions well and then here we are getting a list of devices by using this uh, simple lineup code where we get a list of bounded devices and the form of names and then uh, whenever our button is clicked that is our uh, print button is clicked from the uh, xamarin form project then we are going to give the uh, devices that were got from the get device list method whenever the application get got started then we'll select that uh, thing from the picker we'll send that device name over here with the uh, editor text and then this simple line of code is going to get uh, the device name and then attach uh, the text to it and then print it in the form of encoded utf f uh, utf 8 dot get bytes so here the encoding utf 8 format is going to uh, get the bytes out of the text and then buffer it up and then it just provides the output stream uh, and then uh, it's close the socket for the bluetooth whenever it prints out so uh, this is the simple line of code that I have taken out from the uh, internet to get this printing working so i'll just provide all the links in my videos description below so please check it out and don't forget to add one uh, property inside our android application that is bluetooth permission so here i have added bluetooth permission so don't forget that thing up and that's it and now we are ready to connect our xamarin forms android project with the uh, wireless pos machine that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials